So you might know Amber Heard's in a new movie called In the Fire, which did incredibly bad at the box office, by the way, but it's spreading out in the world, going to Ireland, I hear, countries like that, and also to this film festival. Well, this is in Spanish, but we'll translate it right now. The American actress Amber Heard will visit the fantastic film festival of Canary Island City of La Laguna Isil Caveria 2023 for the national premiere of the movie In the Fire. So it seems like Amber will be going to a premiere for this movie. Now, like I said, it did real bad when it opened. It's going to spread out around the world, but I don't think it's going to do much better. I mean, maybe a little better. Some people will see it, but it's doubtful it'll even break like 500,000, 200,000, something like that. Probably won't be close to a million, but I don't know the exact numbers, but I know it's real low. I mean, in fact, low enough not to think about so much. Now, here's the poster for it. And the thing is, why are they using an old picture of her? I don't understand unless they're trying to be a little misleading. Kind of false advertising there. I mean, if it was for like a modeling shoot, artwork, things like that, okay, maybe a younger self. But the movie isn't the younger Amber. So this is not what you're getting when you see the movie. And of course, some people questioned that on Twitter. Amber's fans obviously didn't notice, I guess. So one of Amber's biggest fans, Sergio Sacchetti says, I would love to be there to attend the premiere. In the fire, I stand with Amber Heard. Well, maybe just call her up. She's got about eight or nine real fans left. You're one of them, give her a call. I'm sure she'll let you come. Bing Bing says, why show an old photo? You should show a photo of her character in the movie. Yeah, obviously. Love this. Well, Bobby loves it. But I think most people who aren't big fans of Amber have the same question as Bing Bing there. Laura Slade says, yes. And Antonio Custodio says, I envy everyone who will have the opportunity to see her. Mia Mara says, why won't you take an actual picture of her, not a 10-year-old one, when Johnny Depp paid for her beauty. Ain't she good enough for the way she looks now? Why not use a more recent pic? Got some for you. And of course, Mia points out some different ones than you see over there that they're using. Some more realistic ones. And Emmy McQuaid says, here's a recent photo. Other stage photos are photoshopped to within an inch of her life. If they were airbrushed anymore, she would have disappeared. She looks 20 years older in real life than she does in those pics and about 20 pounds heavier. Well, probably Emmy isn't quite going to see the movie or go to the premiere. Just my guess. And by the way, yeah, she looks a little tipsy there. And that one's recent. But that's no surprise. And once again, Mia says some things about Amber. As you can see there, she is not a fan. She calls out pretty much most of the bad things Amber did. Brianna says amazing. Well, some of us might disagree. Duck Pajamas says, I just watched In the Fire yesterday and really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful film. I hope everyone at the festival enjoys it too with a heart. Okay. And Danny Fethez, who's one of the other nine fans of Amber Left, says, So wonderful to hear this list. Thank you for being one of the few brave platforms to stand with Amber Heard. Well, yeah, you could say that. One of the few platforms. That's true. Factual there, Danny. And this person asked something in a different language, which I will also translate. Mera and Grace actually has some flames and some Spanish flags, but I don't exactly think people in Spain would think their flag means anything positive about Amber. But I'm not from Spain. You'll have to ask them. I'm just assuming, though. And here's a translation for that comment before. Is this the movie where they depict an autistic child as possessed and cure him in the end. Sorry, spoiler. Adrajo Norigia should know that autism is not an illness, doesn't grant magical powers, and cannot be cured. So this person's actually taken a little bit of a stance against the film and logic in it. Not going to get that deep into it. Maybe it's a logical mistake. I'm just banking. The acting's probably not great, especially on you-know-who's part, but I did hear the kid's good. Grain of salt, haven't seen it, and won't for obvious reasons, though. I wish Amber success. She will definitely take herself to the top. The only thing she focuses on now is her career 
and she does her job well, the people she works with speak highly of her. I've seen in the fire and thought it was a beautiful film. Amber and the cast did a great job. Well, okay, we found the other two fans. She's got like five left. All right, maybe it's not nine. It's probably like 15. And that's about it. My main point here, obviously, she'll go to the festival. Also, they're using this old picture for some reason, which some people have issue with. And lastly, she's still got a few fans left defending her. Don't forget. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. Done here for now. See you next time.